Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel page. Thank you for following along with my devotionals. I am here with my second devotional from my new one. And the news devotional that we I started is called Getting Closer to God. I pray that this is helping you guys. And like I mentioned on the first video, grab a pen and piece of paper and write down the scriptures so that you may say these scriptures every day to help you. And go back to my other videos as well and write down those scriptures so that it may help you during your time of need. I pray that this helps someone. And share, please. Share with others out here. Help them as well. So, let's get started. For most of us, speaking comes much easier than listening. That's me, sometimes. This is especially true when it comes to seeking God. We are quick to ask and slow to listen. The second thing we can do to have a closer relationship with God is to listen when God speaks. We can do this through two different approaches. And we should do both if we want to hear God speak. In the Bible, we hear God's voice to us. <laughs> Sorry, he says, in the Bible, we hear God's voice to us. It is through the God breather, 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 breathe scriptures that we become, we become thoroughly, thoroughly equipped for every good work. <clears throat> So if we truly want to grow closer to God, we should read his words regularly, regularly, regularly. In reading his words, we are listening to God speak through it by his spirit who illuminates the word to us. Illuminates means to highlight those words. I don't know how many of you guys have had that done to them. Where when you read the word of God and then all of a sudden um, a roll of his words just light up. It's just lit up till you, you just continue to read and you, then you go to the next line. It's more lit up and you just see more light as you're reading and reading and reading. It just make you want to continue to read as if your eyes become your own lamp, you know. It's so weird, but uh, that's I, that happened to me. Back to the thing. Back to the reading says the other way to listen is to simply quiet your heart to hear God. This means finding a space without interruption and removing distractions to simply be present with God. He may not speak anything to you one day and the next next leave you with something imprinted on your heart. In a culture of distractions, it may be hard to sit still and be quiet, but it is how we let God know we are there and want to hear from him. So that is something that I'm definitely working on is learning how to sit quiet and allow God to talk to me more. <clears throat> it is so hard, so hard. But I also want to hear God in other ways as well. I hear him in the word always, and I love it. But I also want to hear him with me just sitting quiet, listening. So I pray that you guys do the same. Now, if you got your pens out and paper out, here are the scriptures. Romans 10, chapter 17 says, So when faith cometh by hearing, <clears throat> sorry, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Second Timothy chapter three, verse 16 and 17 says, all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profit for doctrine, for reproof of, for correction, for instructions in righteousness that the man of God may be 
perfect through thoroughly thoroughly fashioned into all good works next scripture is next scripture is psalms 119 chapter 11 thy word have i hide in mine heart that i might not sin against thee jeremiah 15 chapter 16 says thy words were found found and i did eat them and they and thy words was into unto me the joy and rejoice of mine heart for i am called by thy name o lord god of hosts <clears throat> the next one is john 